everyone. Welcome back to my page. I'm Avantaka Kambli and today I have made a digital dice. So basically, let's say that you are playing a board game and it really needs a dice and you don't have one at your house. So you can use this digital dice to play that board game. So all you have to do is press a single button and then a certain amount of LEDs will light up and that's the number you get. So I hope you like it. Let's see the tutorial how to make it. Okay, so everyone, now I'm going to be telling you all the components that you will be needing to make this digital dice. Let's get started. everyone before we start anything with the connections i want to tell you a really important part about this project so always remember that the long side of your led and push button should be on the right hand side of you okay so look the long side is on the right and then the short side is on my left okay same applies for the push button this is a really important part that's why i clipped it in another video you should do this otherwise all of your connections will go wrong now if you're done with this let's get started with the connections so everyone the first connection that you need to do is take the register and connect it to the negative of all of the leds and then the other side should go in any random row of the breadboard so i'm going to show you one so you put that in okay like that okay so everyone now you can see that all of the leds have registers on them into the negative of all of the leds so this is the first thing that you need to do the one resistor is aside because that is one of the push button connections so we're not going to connect the push button now we're connecting the leds right so now the second connection of the led is that you need to take these connecting wires i'm just going to show you one like the last one okay let's take the red one only and then you connect it to the other end of the resistor okay and then you put that to the ground of breadboard okay so let's do that so um now you can see that my wires are also connected now it's connected to all the ground so we are officially done with all of our leds ground connections now we are going to move on to the leds long pin connection that is the positive connection so for that you will need the arduino board too okay so um the first connection is for the red led so i will connect this red wire to my uh, red led like that and then I will connect the other end of this wire to let's say pin number 7. Okay, so let's connect to pin number 7. Yay, done. Now let's take another wire. Let's take this blue one. And we're going to connect it to the positive of the other red LED. And then that will go to let's say pin number 6. Okay, let's clip it to pin number 6. Ooh. all right so now it is in pin number six it's not really clipped yeah now it's done okay then we are going to be connecting this yellow wire to these white transparent leds positive and then the other end will go to let's say the pin number five okay so let's do pin number five then the next thing we'll connect is this orange wire. So first we'll go to the transparent LEDs positive and then the next pin will go to pin number four. All right. Now we're gonna take the green wire for the green LED pin and let's do pin number three for this, okay? And now we're going to take this purple wire, purple one, and we're going to connect this to the positive of the green LED. 
then the other end would go to pin number two okay so we are now done with all of our leds connections now only the push button connections are left right so now let us get started with the push button connections okay everyone so now we're gonna start with the push button connections now these are a little tricky connections but i'm sure you'll get them so remember that resistor and wire that we left last time we're going to use up those now okay so take the one kilo ohm resistor and um the other end will go to any other row okay so let's do this to the first pin and then the other end will connect it here okay so that is the other end of the resistor right there that one i just wish i could show you better yeah over there okay now the other pin like the other end of the resistor that means this one that will go to the five volts of arduino board so we connect this there first and now on the arduino board there's this five volts pin near the ground okay so look five volt you see that so you have to connect it there okay now you have to connect this white wire or any like any color wire you have to the like over here the same place where we had connected the resistor okay so connect that there and that you have to connect to pin number nine of the arduino board so let's do that there we go pin number nine okay now the other pin of the push button which is this pin that will go to basically only the ground of the breadboard so we're going to take this one and the ground of breadboard okay so let's do that that that's right there and done okay so now we are done with all of the connections but not all of the connections we actually forgot the main connection so you take this black wire it has to be black okay and you connect it over here where all of the negatives were connected then the other end should go to this g and d pin okay there's a g and d there also next to pin number 13 but i prefer you connect it here look g and d all right so these are all of the connections now i am going to code this and then i'm going to connect the battery i'm going to show you the final result after i've coded it let's go i'm so excited <laughs> all right everyone so we are finally done with the coding now all we need to do is connect our battery for it to work okay so the positive of the battery will go to the v in pin with a connecting wire okay and the negative of battery will go to the negative of breadboard all right so let's see the result in three two one go yay it started working so when you see those lights coming on the arduino board you know the project's working so when i press the button it's my turn now okay i get a two all right now the other player presses on the button the other player also gets two okay then next player six okay this player is lucky then this player plays again and gets a three okay then the next player gets a five okay so now you can see that this is a really really fun for me it was because like come on led dices that's the best and it's even fun so i hope you like this and thank you so much for watching everyone bye